Name in finance. The Ponzi continues. It won't stop. They're here to take your last penny. It'll squeeze you out of your last life savings. Okay? This is just greed to the next level. Revelation. Let's talk about MMF, MM Finance, and what's happening. I'm not following them the way I used to because I played on the Ponzi's. And uh, although every now and then I'll just bring you some news, which some of you will find it useful. I'm sure if you have an open mind, then you'll definitely be able to learn something. All right. So quick history. I covered MM Finance since the beginning. And what do you see on your screen right now is my crypto channel. All right. And I have raw unfiltered case studies. So to understand the MMF ecosystem and what actually happened, maybe check this video out. MMF, how insider trading crashed a billion dollar protocol. It's insane. And I've done multiple videos. I've actually done uh, but the very second video on this channel was on MMF. I literally said, get out of MMF before losing your life savings. Here, get out of MMS, uh, MMF finance before you lose everything. That was three months ago. I talked about it multiple times. And yeah, I'm not here to decide on your behalf. You can do whatever you want, but I want to show you some, you know, crazy, dirty red flags. So when I played with it in the beginning, it's been almost a year now. They started last December and I saw the red flags as we move forward. I saw the insiders crashing the protocol, billion dollar, multiple million dollar shenanigan. All right. So if you're interested, go back, check all the videos on my other channel. And uh, I'm doing this in this channel, Rebel Uncensored, because I try to keep all the... Uh, I'm here to do all the reaction videos, calling out people, all the controversial stuff. Entertaining as well, I know, on this channel. Okay, so if you're interested, stick till the end and let me enlighten you all. Okay, so they're coming out with another launch pad. No surprise there. October 19th, the first mobile resource management game on Kronos by Ibisus Bay. Oh my god. I will try to keep it straight, okay, without giving, um, you know, without just cursing and all that kind of shit, because pointless. Not here to judge anybody. How do you judge a nonce? That's tough, all right? I feel, I just laugh at the tokenomics and everything I'm looking at. So, without getting deep into this whole thing, because they've been doing launch pads since the beginning and everything is a disaster. All right, nothing works. There you go. Look at the pump here. Seven thousand dollars worth of token. That's it. Takes. Oh, this is what a seven thousand dollars does. But if you look at the overall, look at the whole. Zoom out. See what's happening. Okay. Six months. Should be the three months. Watch. One dollar plus to almost one dollar thirty cents. Matter of what months? Now sitting at all-time low, okay? Everything. Don't get pumped up by the fake pumps. You'll have, it'll follow by dumps because people have been holding bags. People can exit this protocol, their so-called DEX, MM Finance, while the founders and the whatever you want to call them, the operators have milked the entire ecosystem dry, okay? And there are multiple Twitter accounts which actually talk about that. Matter of fact, um, I have a, an entire thread on them on my Twitter. I'll, ha I'll have a link in the description, okay? So now, what I want to show you, first of all, let's actually see what's happening here, okay? I'm not going to talk much about it because, again, worthless shit, all right? They're just, again, literally raising more funds. <laughs> Koi. <laughs> Koi. Sale will take place at MM Finance and will last for six hours and you will need MMF Crow LP to participate. There you go. People are excited now. Now you know why the pump? I want to get in. DJs will fall in. You don't need many people to pump. A thousand unsuspecting victim. That's it. All right? Someone will watch my video and maybe you'll be cautious, right? Alert. Most of you who won't or who don't care or, you know, on my views and shit, they'll probably just ape in. Some will make money. Most will lose money. That's the game plan here. Okay? So starting this in a bear market, Abyssus Bay, yes, I, I'm aware of it. I've sold a bunch of NFTs and traded there. And look what it says. Ryoshi's Tales is built by the team behind the number one NFT marketplace on Kronos. Abyssus Bay. Abyssus Bay is the first and largest NFT marketplace on Kronos with over 200 million crow in volume traded. Most of the volume came from Mad Mirror and NFTs. And they're the one who's launching it. The top three, you have seen me talk about the NFTs, Mad Mirror Cat, right? The top three... 
they have this dumb tree mm tree house they have this degen and then there's the top three right they make up most of the volume so yeah sure i get this point and by the way they all are unknown so can you guarantee that they are all not connected to each other probably this is under the same umbrella team they're all just milking the whole ecosystem everybody literally they can copy paste create another protocol name it something else whatever and just you know rinse and repeat is there any guarantee can you prove me wrong i would love to be proven wrong man you know i've been waiting on this but people will just come and talk because uh oh you lost money that's what you're crying bro i've been covering this since ever and now <laughs> it's not about me losing or making it's about actually spreading awareness letting you guys know exactly how the dirty shit goes behind crypto i mean this is nothing i've seen craziest stuff you know luna is nothing all right so game mechanics everything is just bs 15 person team allocation fantastic marketing what is this two person two years vesting two person marketing 15 person team wow treasury 20 percent juicy right it's almost juicy for the team as a matter of fact like i said don't want to talk much about it so if you're interested go for it but this is what's coming all right now let me show you something interesting and before i show you um other stuff let's dig into the tweet so a couple of people shared um private messages they're like dude don't expose me i, I want to stand on but yeah i know you're right it's shady so let's see some of the stuff right this was one of the tweets the dm i got yeah what's up bro i have the same feeling on mmf I had some business dealing when i launched our coin with mmf i don't know which project they're talking about they stole 60k from our project that was september 23rd and i just discovered this because i don't check my dms that often i get thousands of junks did anything change not at all yeah nothing changed then um we have someone else who shared this with me this was the first post utan rambutan <laughs> and optimus primate any updates on the dsf network rework they're trying to rework the tomb because everything is uh, a disaster right now if you look at this hey look what happened to this i'm just doing this raw live look at this pump followed by this huge dump <laughs> oh my god ladies and gents you just got dumped on exactly all right so they're trying to rework this entire ecosystem look look at the entire chart zoom out they're trying to rework this after it's just dead this is what we call fake promise because there's no way they can do this the only way you can do it is by bringing in new suckers in the ecosystem so you can use their money just like how superform did unbelievable and they both support each other if you look at the twitter each of them retweets their post like-minded assholes will obviously do the same thing right scammers would do the same thing they hang out with each other promote each other's stuff insane so let's actually read this huh we have a plan to rework all the tombs and if the tokens fall way below peg then we will initiate the rework the peg has been dead forever what are you talking about <laughs> meanwhile our focus is on getting mad mix on chronos up so it can start generating revenue to help support mmf guys just read yes maybe but it's all inside i think pay for listing yes maybe it's also inside bias we have paid fees for market making and also sex listings and these funds have been expensed already liars but that's that said if the sex listing does go through by the way let me tell you this if you think this um they're gonna be listed on binance it's not possible chronos crypto.com versus binance they both have different exchanges why would Binance give them volume on Crypto.com? I mean, they are competitors. Fake news. Anyways, exchange listings don't mean nothing. And uh, Binance and Kronos, they all lift, uh, list shit tokens and Ponzi's all the time. Emirate doesn't control when it happened. Yep. Yes, we are talking to another two major tier one exchange listings currently. Started with BNH. Binance and Hobby? We'll see. Huge just in sales. And like I said, they only list when they see volume because that's when they can make money revenue that's ex uh, exchanges if you're not aware what you know what i'm saying and nowadays they don't even care if you pay them for listing and if you're a ponzi whatever loss of volume but now it's difficult because if you look at the volume on mmf that it's drying 24 hours you want to see this last 24 hours let me show you this where is this 34k 83 cells people can't even sell because it's so low and all the tiny one dollar buys you see this all one dollar bot buys and whatever it is just to give you this fake hopium right 34k volume trading volume that's nothing 
So yeah, this is dead meat, man. Now they're trying to figure out how do we scam? How do we move on to the next big one? So we can just scam, you know, more people. So let's introduce a game which barely people will play for a few days or so, a month. Then the whole thing dries out. Move on to the next one. Okay, I will here cover this again. So let's see if I'm right or wrong. All right, ladies and gents, we'll come back to this. Now, let me show you some of the tweets. Okay, there's this guy called Crypto Sapien. I'm just going to refer to his account. I don't know why do I have this open. I don't even know any of these. And they've been, uh, they all kind of reached out to me for uh, what? Promotion and stuff. How do you not know that if they're not run under the same company, the same team, every once and anon, we're just believing them based on what they say. You can't even hear them. You can't. What? Oh my God. And I'm going to show you something awesome. <laughs> More crazy, crazier. Right after I'm done with my MM Finance, okay? And I don't want to drag this longer than a certain period like time 15 minutes max let's see so scammers mmf more like more more failures and yes this is a raw video there's no editing okay straight on your face what is all this utan wants to know how much do you want i can't find you on tg how much do you want mmf more like more failures of course failures the full girlfriend experience sometimes and then oh they're trying to bribe you and then there will be a lot of um, anon fake accounts. They'll do whatever to pump their backs. Again, anon. You barely will see anybody with a face defending or, you know, it's all just anons, right? Buy swap decks, 30, okay. Unveiling the biggest scam MF in the crypto space. The KYC then docks Utan. What? Okay, are we ready? Dude, who cares? I mean, if I see this dude, I would beat the shit out of this dude, man. But anyways. Henry <laughs> Joe Rogan should actually put us in a cage match. But we don't even know who the fuck we are dealing with. It, Utan could be some Rambutan alien idiot, man. We don't know, right? But check this out. Again, another Henry Meerkat. The founder of MMF is a dev at BuySwap. It's a project at Binance Smart Chain. Also, they've done KYC. Okay. Hmm. So you were a dev. All right, cool. Utan, Mr. Rambutan. Agreed. It's very impressive. What? Utan is a buy swap dev so he has some experience with it experience in scamming yeah i know that neighbor utan is a dev man all right so this was the proof whatever this guy's trying to put out there thanks to henry for confirming this Utan was a dev x dev utan is a developer so go find out the developers of buy swap since they are docs then you'll find out who utan is ladies and gents there you go maybe <laughs> and what hold on o october 18 you'll enjoy the big finale I'm waiting on the finale, bro. What's up? This is this was yesterday. I'm all in. I need I need the drama, bro. We gotta we gotta see this. Come on. Yeah, now it's Photoshop, indeed. Come on, man. Oh, look. All the same BS people defending it. Aren't you the guy who sent a screenshot of a Photoshop PM? You heavy on the bags. Most of you blocked me. I don't know. Oh, oh look, mod at Mad Meerkat. You son of a bitch. Just keep hiding behind again another dudes okay anyways all good i, I don't want to get personal <laughs> but honestly man i, I want to beat the shit out of these mad meerkats like ugh, cringeworthy mofos doxing undoxable devs aka world tour hunting scammers part one huh crocs up now what's up with crocs up don't tell me the same people single contract decks with con man Guys, I don't think you need more proof, all right? There's a lot of big fuckeries going on. And I like to cover this because every now and then, I mean, these are stuff you won't find unless you know, you know, you gotta like search or find some individuals who are actually covering it. They're the rare stuff. People will forget about them in finance. They did, they did massive damage, all right? And I don't see many people covering it. It's kind of weird. They just keep coming up with fake promises and stuff. I mean, yeah, wh why would I know about crypto? I mean, yeah, I don't know anything about crypto, right? After documenting for almost two years, I don't know jack shit about crypto. After putting my own money and playing in the Ponzi's, I don't know jack shit about crypto, right? Anyways, now let's see if there's any more post. Then I want to show you something else. And this guy says, what? MMF crypto getting ready to dump on investors wallet. MF team removed 1 million of MU's liquidity. Okay. And I don't want to go deeper, okay? He actually covered quite a bunch of it. And if I want, I can actually do a quick research and find a lot of people um, <laughs> going nuts on it. And the whole sentiment is so dry and dead right now. It's just a bunch of MMF people promoting each other. Look, they all have this Mad American NFTs and they're just shilling. That's it. 
they all have become ambassadors. <laughs> they all have become moderators and ambassadors and uh, council members, and they're here pumping each other's bag. That's it. Only if one person could come out and uh, actually, you know, address the concerns. So now, before ending this, it's almost 15 minutes, man. Let's do it 20 minutes max, all right? And before ending this, I want to show you something real quick. <laughs> Oh my god, ZZ Finance. Now, ZZ Finance came out of nowhere. Whether they're the same team that's managing MM Finance or not, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe this saw an opportunity. They thought, let's co copy the code and let's start on a new chain. Let's do the same thing. Because if you're copying a um, project that literally failed and rugged, how would you uh, make it right? I don't understand. You're just doing the same thing. You're copying, rinsing, repeating. They have the NFTs, just like Mirakath NFTs. They have the DeFi uh, Dex, which I'm going to show you right now, and it's going to blow your mind. All right, all right. So let's, ladies and gents, this is MM Finance. I haven't been on this Dex for pretty much ever. Okay, wow, 25 million. Do you know it was in a billion at one point, not too long ago? What happened? Who made so? Who made all the money? It's sitting at one cents right now. One point. Wow, disaster. All right, so pay attention to this. This is MM Finance, all right, and this is on Kronos. All right, Poly MM. I don't know if I'm doing it right. No, there's no website on. Yeah, so this is Poly MM Finance. Okay, so this is what happened. Just let's assume this real quick. There was a scandal, I know, controversial stuff. Uh, Meer Meerkat, whatever, finance rug pulled on binance i covered it maybe the same people maybe not i don't know then chronos milked it dry took up to a billion dollars dead same thing they launched on polygon watch sitting at 12.9 million it was over 600 some million not too long ago just a few months ago all right sitting at 12.9 million most people are bag holding what's the difference same decks copy paste right now let me surprise you this is ZZ Finance, sure, the logo is totally kind of garbage, immature, doesn't compare to Mad Meerkats, so I'm not too sure if the same team or some other team just trying to milk the system or whatever. So, Kronos dead, Binance BSC dead, Poly dead, now it's on Optimism, and I, I'm not going to connect my wallet because I don't play on Optimism, but check this out, same style, there's absolutely no difference, and they have their, <laughs> they have their, oh my god, NFTs as well. Literally the same thing. Yield optimizer. If you go to the farm, check out the farm. Tell me what's the difference. Oh, now they have version two. Version two, version three. Holy moly. This is brutal, man. I didn't even pay attention to any of these. Look. This is disgusting. <laughs> V1 farms are no longer distributing rewards. So on stake from here, move to V2. That dries out, move to V3. So it keeps you know it keeps going while they keep generating fees and making whatever they want, like shit ton of money. Wow. Insane, right? So now look at this. What's the difference between this and this? What's the difference? <laughs> same farm, same style. Copy paste code. You know this. It's obvious. It's just a fork of M Finance, literally. So I don't know them, okay? I'm not here to like criticize a project or the team unknown team and non team that i don't even know but literally the same style and what are you trying to achieve recently i've seen them trying to give airdrops to the meerkat families investor bag holders basically hey bag holders we'll add drop you come on come back come to zz finance and optimism we'll make a lot of money <laughs> what? you're okay you're trying to attract the investors you mean the bag holders from mm finance so that you can d wow breaking the loop of farm and dump zz finance aims to solve this issue all right so you're going to solve all the problems that Mad Meerkat did, okay? All right. And then if this doesn't work, there'll be another one. Okay, no problem. Referral program, same. Same style. Refer more people, suck them into the system, making it more Ponzi. Making it more totally triangle Ponzi, right? Then if you go check all the comments, very straightforward. It sounds nice, interesting, good, awesome. Like, who's, who are all these people? I don't know. So they call themselves Zealous Zombie. It has to be an adjective and something. It's not meerkats. It has to be mad meerkats. It's not just zombies. It has to be zealous zombies. 
Hmm. How about suck my balls? Dot finance. Huh? That would be nice. I'll invest in that shit. Same style, ladies and gents. So, this is popping. All right, they're doing giveaways, attracting more people. You have a lot of retweets on those stuff because people, sucker, they're suckers for giveaways. Like, they love giveaways. I don't know why. Even though they know the giveaways are fake, they will probably give it to their own people in the Twitter. <laughs> it's just like me running a giveaway and with another account. Hey, I won the giveaway. Thank you. And then I use another account. Oh, yeah, look, you won the giveaways. Guys, the feature of money starts at Zilla Zombie. Okay. Same style. NFT, farms, DeFi, just a little different name, terms. We have to change stuff or else it won't make sense, right? So yes, ladies and gents, 20 minutes of pure controversial crypto shenanigan. I need you to see this. What goes around, it's not the same. You, you don't see what's happening behind the, you know, the curtain. And most people will forget about these things. And these guys will take advantage of the whole situation of goldfish memory because people don't remember. They'll come back with new shit. And again, milk it. Okay? Look at this before I end this. What? 10 billion tokens? <laughs> Is that the tokenomics? That was this. 10 billion? Holy shit. 10 billion maximum token supply. 10 million market cap. 10 million market cap. 10 million? Average price. You're trying... 10 million market cap on a project that... Is just launching. And it, lit it literally has... 10 million market cap. It already has a value. Unbelievable. Anyways, Rebel Nation, stay vigilant. There's a lot to cover. I probably will have another video later today. Yeah, there's quite a bunch of stuff, right? So stay tuned. Don't get wrecked by mofos and non-mofos. All they will do is like take your money and fit it to their, you know, just go and, uh, man, spend it on some porn shit or some other garbage. So stay vigilant and I'll see you soon.